What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. Now today is the day I know a lot of people are excited about. This is kind of where we, this is a big milestone for our application. So for the last four videos, three videos, we've been doing a lot of steps, basically one after another with one goal in mind. And that's the ability to manage users and give assign roles to users so that you can assign permissions and so forth. So um, we've been, for the last three or four videos, that's what we've been focusing on. In order to do that, we had to do the CRUD for users. We had to do CRUD for permissions. You had to do CRUD for roles. And now it's finally time to bring it all together and do what we really wanted to do when we were building all that stuff. Um, we can actually, we want to focus on today's video actually assigning CRUD, or sorry, assigning roles to users. So that's finally gonna be a big milestone in our application. We can start moving forward with other stuff because I wanted to get the, the roles and permissions all done um, so we can manage all of that before we moved forward with anything else because um, I want to be able to lock down certain ports of the website to, um, you know, certain roles and permissions. And so in order to do that, it's best if we get the permissions and roles out of the way first so that while we're building it, we can make sure that each page is secure. If I go through and do the whole application and then do roles and permissions last, then what's going to happen is I have to remember to go back to every single page and make it secure for whatever permission or role um, those pages require. So by doing it, beforehand, then I can just focus on them as I build those pages. I won't forget anything. So it's really good to get the permissions and roles out of the way first. It was, I hope I didn't lose too many of you guys. I know it was really repetitive because we were doing basically the same thing for the three videos. Crud, crud, crud with only minor changes. And I think now we're finally past that. We can get to some more interesting things. Now the goal of today's video is basically twofold. We got two steps we want to do. Here, when we're viewing a user's profile, which this is a pretty ugly profile, we'll go through and make it nicer down the road. But um, right now, we're viewing the user's details. We basically want to have the ability to list all of the roles that this user has assigned to them. So a user can have one role or multiple roles. We want to list all the roles that this user has. And that's the first step we need to do. And so we'll just display that here. So, the, so basically, when you uh, click on a user, you can view which roles that user has. That's the first step. The second step is when we're editing a user, we want the ability to add or change which roles that user has. So my concept here is basically with this form that we've got, we can basically create another column here that says roles, kind of like how password does, and we just list checkboxes of all the available roles. So there's, you know, right now I think we've got like I can't remember, six or seven roles. So there's six or seven roles in the system and we have checkboxes for them and you just check or uncheck whichever roles you want them to have or you want to take away. So we want to do that and then when they save, you obviously sync it all up and do it that way. So that's the goal of today's video. It should be pretty quick and easy. We don't have to do any of the crud. Just a couple quick steps and we're done. Let's do it. Okay, so first of all, let's go in. We don't have to create new controllers, nothing. All this is going to happen inside of the controller for users. So inside of users controller, we're basically going to, um, when we're doing the show, this is the first step. So part one that I mentioned is when we're viewing a user's information, we want to be able to um, output which roles that user has. So we can basically here, um, let's go ahead and eager load the Okay, so we're gonna eager load the um, roles. Is that right, with roles? Yeah, I think that's right. And then uh, first, so we'll go ahead and do that. That should be easy. And then I, just to go ahead and finish this up, let's move over to the um, view for this. So resources, views, uh, manage, users, and then uh, show. Okay, great. And then here, let's see, we got name, email. This is a really ugly page, but it's gonna, it's good enough for right now. We're gonna go through. I'm gonna make this a lot nicer down the road, but for right now, this does the trick. We've got the information on the page, so then the only thing we need to do is just do a, just a front-end design is all it is. All right, great. So now here, instead of showing user, uh, user email, we wanna do user roles, basically. Now, if a user has multiple roles, we probably wanna display this as like an unordered list. So let's go ahead and do this here, and then we'll do a loop. And then we'll say user roles as role, uh, clean that up. And then 
here we can just do a list item and then display the role display name. And then if we want to get fancy, we could do like I was doing with the other ones, we could do role uh, description. Perfect. All right, let's get rid of that. That's it, basically. Let's just check that in the browser. Um, let's go ahead and view that user role. So this user has no roles. <laughs> so um, we'll come back to this later, but at least it shows roles. Um, if there are none, you could say, we could do something like this. We could say, um, let's, let's do that. Okay, so this way, basically, if the user has no roles, it'll just say that. So there we go. So I just added that nice, added that nice little uh, little thing in there just to make it a little cleaner. That's it. So the first start, the first part's done. Now the second part. Um, the second part is when we're on our edit page. So when we're editing the user's information, we want the ability to see all the available roles, and then we want to have the ones that are already assigned checked already, and then we want to be able to check new ones and then update that to assign those new roles to the users or take existing roles away. So we're gonna do it very similar to how we did permissions before. We'll do it the exact same way. So we already have um, a, a view object. Let's go ahead and let's just create a new object here for permission, uh, or uh, we'll call it roles, sorry. Roles selected. And that'll be good. And then up at top, let's go ahead Let's go ahead and make a new column here. So here's the end of the first All right, there we go. So um, the last thing we need to do is let's just convert the current, whatever roles this user currently has into the array so it can be linked up with this model, just like we did in the last video. So here, let's go through and um, we want to, let's see. Basically we got, let's see, we got user roles and then we'll just um, do the same thing. So let's pluck the ID and that should do it. Um, I think that'll work. Let's give it a try. So let's uh, edit the user now. We got a problem. Oh, roles, that's right. Back in our controller, we have we didn't, um, when we, with both of these actually, I think, oh no, we already did that, that one's okay. Um, when we edit the user, we need to bring in all of the roles. Okay, so we need to pass in all the roles because we want to link through all of them. And then we also want to do the same thing we've been doing. We want to eager load um, all of these. We want to eager load in the roles so we don't have to do an N, we don't have an N plus one error. So, well, it's not an error, but we don't have the N plus one problem. So uh, with roles first. There we go. Now it should work. Oh, didn't do roll. All right, and then up here, just use, in fact, let's get rid of this. There we go. Okay. Um, 
Okay, mostly works. So the only thing we didn't do here is we need to put, we need to wrap these in fields. So it's just a little um, up here with these check boxes, just so it looks a little nicer. Field. Okay, wrap it in a field and then it won't like group up like this. So there we go, that's what we wanted. All right, so that's basically it. So now, well, it's not basically it. Now we've got to, all right, let's move this button into its own space here. Okay, there we go. Clean that up. Just want to make this button a little more substantial. It's like this little button in the corner. So um, just added a rule. So there we go. I think everything looks a little bit more organized. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, so here you would just check all the roles. You could do your thing with all of your passwords like normal. And then we got to pass this in to actually update it. And then we're done. So when we actually now back in our controller, when we actually run this to the update function, now what we want to do is after we do all this other stuff, well, let's see here. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's move, move user save up into, hold on, user password, okay. So after this, let's user save right here. That's got the password um, you know, business. And then now let's, we're gonna tie our roles. So now what we're gonna say is we're gonna say user, and then we're going to sync roles. Okay, I'm gonna come back with, we'll do success error messages later. So I just wanna get this functionality done. So there we go. So basically we're saving the user here, then we're gonna sync all the roles that they've got, and then we'll redirect them back to the show page, which should show them all the new roles. Let's go ahead and test it, and then we're done. Okay, so here we go. We've got our user, this is Alex Johnson. Great, let's make him an administrator. We're gonna click edit user. He's now an administrator, perfect. So it works, and then we edit again. We can give him multiple users, so he can be a super administrator and an administrator. This page is super ugly, so just ignore that. But otherwise, everything kind of works pretty good. The only other thing I wanted to do before this video ended was I realized on this table, we're missing a button to just view the profile. We only have edit. So we're gonna add a second button and then we're done with this video. So up here under users index, let's go and let's make a second button. Uh, we'll do view first. So we're gonna say view, and then under class, let's give this a margin right of, I think we did five pixels in the last one that I saw. Let's link this to users.show, otherwise everything's the same. So, let's try that again. And there we go. Last thing I wanna do, <laughs> since I'm doing everything else, let's do a class has text right. That should push everything over to the right. There we go. Okay, and then we can also get rid of this actions up here. Just have an empty column hall. There we go. That looks a little nicer. So there we go. That's everything. Now we have users. We can assign roles to users. We can have multiple roles for users and all that good stuff. So it works. It's great. We finally have completed base. Our we've basically completed our uh, user permissions and roles. So that whole section is now done, and now we can move on to better things, more interesting things. So we've got a lot of stuff we wanna do. Um, first thing, I, I do wanna kinda go through, show you how to set up some helpers so that we can like get this navigation to look a little cleaner by highlighting the page we're currently on and stuff like that. So um, we'll need to go through and do that. We're gonna get those flash messages going. There's a few things I'm gonna go through and jot them all down to make sure we don't miss something. And then we'll start moving on to actually kind of managing the content and creating the content. And that'll be kind of another big section that we focus on for quite a bit. So the next few videos you see are gonna be kind of doing odds and ends that we've been skipping over in the last few videos so we can kind of get to this point. And now we can go back and just clean things up a little bit. And that's gonna be kind of the goal of the next few videos before we move on to actually creating more of like what I'd call the CMS where we actually manage content, um, get the WYSIWYG editor in there, do all that kind of stuff. So. Um, 
like another another thing I just remembered was when you create a new user, I want to be able to send out emails to that user with their password and stuff like that. We skipped over it just to kind of jump over here to get this big chunk done to get this user permissions and roles set up. And now that we got this, I want to go back and just clean up those steps that we skipped over up to this point. So that should be kind of fun. The next few videos won't focus around CRUD. So we should actually have some fun videos to work on where we're not just doing CRUD. We're doing things like emails and flash messages and things like that. Just something different to break up the monotony of working like building CRUD, create, read, like edit, update, delete, all that crap. I get sick of doing that. It's so repetitive, but you know what? That's half of programming is doing repetitive stuff. So you sometimes get stuck doing that kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment. We kind of finished a big milestone in our application and I'm super proud of us. Everyone that has watched every video up to this point, leave a comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. I'm super proud if you watched all these videos. We This is probably three hours of content. A lot of it was kind of repetitive. So um, I'm really proud of you if you have watched all of it. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys.